Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Starlink Battle for Atlas. Today, I'm actually playing on the Switch Pro controller instead of the Joy-Cons with the ship on top of it. It seems to be working just fine. It isn't like asking me, hey, you gotta do the right things, so that's good. I wanted to do a couple of things in today's episode. First off, we have our collection, which seems to be very in-depth at this point. It looks like we do have info on some characters like Woof. Uh, that's interesting. What I wanted to do is actually take a look. I, I was taking a look at this before I started recording today's episode. Um, we can change our loadout and we can change our character. So I did have the one other character, which is uh, Mason Rana. I think that I wanted to start checking those characters out a little bit more later on. I wanted to sort of make my way through the story mode mostly with Fox McCloud, but I also noticed that, you know, we can change our wings, we could actually use the ones from the other ship, which is Mason's ship, so if we change the ship right here, this should be Zenith High Energy Class, I'm pretty sure this is Mason's ship. So we could change this over if we wanted to try that, and then also, like, our Link wings, which are, I don't really know what these are too much, I think that they just maybe enable us to do different things with it, but right now like we could do weapons, and we don't have too many other things. Like we have some things I think from Mason's ship once again. Um, we could try these, this weapon would be removed from the other side of the ship. I don't know too much about this weapon, so I'd have to go into the description of it. But then we have other things, like uh, the Meteor Mark II and stuff. And what I think I'll do is that you can actually buy all this stuff online. So, oh, it looks like we can actually get more than one loadout as well, so I'll probably keep this one fairly basic for now, you know, just keep it to that, and then on the other side, I'll equip this. But I wanted to go ahead and purchase, there's a $60 pack that as far as I can tell, um, unlocks basically everything. So I wanted to go ahead and like, if I were to wanna unlock uh, Chase to Silva, I would have to go to the Nintendo eShop, which we'll do right now, and you'll be able to see for yourself that there should be a pack that's $60 digitally, and that will, uh, is Battle for Atlas Collection Pack 1, and as far as I can tell, that unlocks all the stuff below it, so it is important to keep this in mind that you can buy it physically, but it seems like you can buy everything the game has to offer digitally. So if that's not your thing, you can still buy it digitally and enjoy the game. If you're going to do that, I definitely suggest getting, I think it was $80 package, because it's $20 more, but you get all of this stuff. If you were to buy all this stuff individually, this would total up to be more than $80 all by itself, and that's not including the game. I already did total it up, unless I did my math wrong. So obviously, since I've already paid $60 for the game, I'm sort of losing some money by doing this. It would have been just cheaper if I just bought the $80 collection pack, as far as I can tell. But hey, as long as I get to play more of the game, I didn't want to buy more than the $60 starter pack at first, because I didn't know if I was going to enjoy it. But now that I do, I'm going to go ahead and get this, and we'll have more weapons available. Maybe later down the line, we'll be able to showcase more characters that way. That'll be awesome. But for right now, I'm going to showcase Collection 1 pack. Okay, so I just purchased that pack. I don't think things are immediately available. I will likely have to restart the game, unfortunately. But let's just go back to Fox. We've seen this cutscene before, so we can skip this and see if I can't choose any of these other weapons. Not quite yet. Okay, so I will be right back. I gotta restart the game, and then I just wanna be able to have those weapons available just in case we run into enemies that may have certain weaknesses that we didn't have availability to. Okay, so it looks like it already randomized my ship a little bit, which isn't what I wanted too much, so we're gonna go into our loadout and uh, just sort of change everything, like bring this back to the R-Wing. Go ahead, and I guess uh, this is not right. I need these, and wait. Oh, no, I wasn't done. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know why it backed me out of there. Uh, get this one, and we'll check out more ships as we go along. You guys can let me know how you want me to showcase things, if you have uh, specific interests in mind. Um, I will definitely keep that stuff you know, in mind as we move forward. Just wanted to go with this setup for now, but I wanted the option to do more later on. If we also take a look at our characters, they all of them are unlocked now, so that's super exciting. I wanna keep the Star Fox, though, and with all that being set up, we are finally good to go. There's so much we could be doing, but it looks like let's just continue with the main quest for now. Hello. Oh, you're back. Yep. Okay, so for this one, it looks like we have, like we can accept quests, I guess, deliver item. Can I do that? Uh, extractor core, reward, common mod, 3,000 stuff, 2,000 stuff, one other thing. Okay. Here's that core. Outstanding. Extracting the Nova should take just a moment. Hmm. I'll need to arrange for a replacement. Huh? Well, you have a captain to find, don't you? A captain that can make Nova no less. Your crew could use a local expert, and I'm not too shabby in a fight either. This isn't my crew, so you gotta ask them. Maybe they'd be open to it. I don't know. Then it sounds like a sabbatical is in order. I will meet you there. Just have to find that darn assistant. Oh, do we get to play as him? Does he get the captain in his own ship? Oh, is this him? Oh, I guess so. All right, so this is, we can cash in our bone fruit. Oh, we can cash this in all five? Oh, what's happening? Increase our visibility. Hey. 
Got that Nova for you. Heading back now. Nice work. See you soon. Man, you guys have the best snacks. <laughs> Slip, stop stuffing your face with that junk or you'll get all sleepy. We gotta be wide awake if we're gonna catch Wolf. All right, so we're still looking for Wolf, which is pretty cool. Um, I thought we could still deliver items. Yes, we can. I deliver a couple more. Guess some stuff happens. Then some other stuff. Radium cell. Deliver uh, this to a prospector. Refinery um, can't do that did from here. Did you mistake us for a different outpost? Are you suffering from space madness? <laughs> so I guess we can give this to other people instead of them, because I do have those items, and then we can offer health if they wanted any, or no Your ships to repair. Your fleet is in optimal condition. No need for repairs right now. Awesome, so I guess we had those options if we wanted to. Visibility range, 20% of Kyrite. Now this is where things get really interesting with the game, is that you can see these red markers. As far as I understand, there sort of is like an active system in the game where if you don't constantly take care of things, this will spread across the entire planet. So you definitely have to be actively playing to keep up with that kind of stuff. I don't know about this other stuff on the floor here. Uh, looks to be some something. Uh, 100 points for it though. But we'll be trying to, as early as I can, explore everything and have some fun with it. But uh, first, I need to change the audio settings because it just, just, hold on. There we go. Make this way lower because it's been like way too loud for me. Got it, okay. Gonna go back and we should be good with that. Let's talk to you. Researcher Kylos. If you're getting Kylos. burned by a powerful Cyclops, try switching weapons. I believe each variant has a weakness. Yep. Okay, so it doesn't seem like these people always have like guaranteed Hello. quests. I'm just returning with some samples. Remember to bring any biological material you find back to an observatory. Gotcha. So I guess for right now, I might be smart to focus on the main quest, but I really want to do like a little bit of everything. Stow beacon. What is this? Uh, drop it. So these are beacons that do something. I don't know really what the point is. But hey, maybe it would just be smarter if we focused on our main quest, which is this way. And since I uh, deposit all those bone fruit, I could pick up more of them. Also, just you know, keep on exploring, keep on finding stuff. Got more of this stuff. Whenever it's blue, I think I'm just supposed to pop it. I can get some cool stuff out of it, so that would be pretty cool to keep Almost in mind. Good. What is this stuff? Once we get the Nova loaded, we should be good to go. And then we find St. Grant. That's right. Yeah, unless he's, you know, Levi, what the heck? What? I hope he isn't, I'm just saying. Don't worry, he's our captain. We won't let him down. Yep, we won't. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and do this, charge up. And then go ahead and get this one as well, don't go too far. Excellent, so there we go, I think we filled up on bone fruit again. More of these guys, which I think I've yep, the razor beaks have already scanned them, Nothing but like I can bust this stuff. St. Grand and I assembled a database through our contacts in the Pleiades. Scan that animal, and we may get a match. Really? I thought I already scanned it, but I guess I can scan again. Um, huh. I thought I already had done this. Uh, wait, I think I missed a square. DNA Got it. profile complete. Fauna identified. Yeah, we've already identified it. It's a, it's a razor beak. I guess we get some extra experience for it, though, so I'm not complaining. Don't think we've properly gotten a level up yet. There are definitely some things I'm gonna have to piece together as we go along because this game can be pretty confusing. Wowie, you're new. Unknown, oh, I'm gonna find out what you are though. Hopefully if you're nice. You look a little scary, gotta be honest. Come on, let's keep checking you out. You are huge. You are gigantic, I love it. Okay. Partial scan complete. So I got scan one more scan. specimens to complete the DNA profile. Can I scan this one another time? Doesn't look like it. So I'm gonna have to find another one of those guys just walking about. I haven't seen that just yet, but hopefully we will. Man, is this game cool. And it's really pretty too. Just like everything is just so cool to check out and wonderful. Let's go back to the mothership then. It's quite literally what it is. So this will be fine to do, right? I'm here. How do I transfer your fuel? Open your ship's computer. You should be able to launch the repair sequence from the Equinox screen. Okay, so. Press plus to open up the Equinox screen upgrade. Okay, next upgrade, restored spin drive. Refuel the Equinox to restore your flight engines and return to space. Awesome, so what do I need for that? Restored spin drive, upgrade available now. Upgrade complete, so I did it. And this is Warden Cipher. This upgrade will become available as you progress through the story. Gotcha, so now what? Nice. I can fly? If we find any more goodies around here, maybe we can upgrade the Equinox even more. Until then, let's see if this works. Okay, I would love to. What do we gotta do? Hmm. This was a precision strike. 
They must have tracked our core through the hall. Well, this isn't enough Nova to draw anyone's attention, that's for sure. But if Mason's calculations are right, should be just enough to get us airborne again. Yeah, or just enough to be blown to pieces. Hit it, Chase. Oh boy, hope we don't get blown to pieces. Off we go, wow. I mean, for being a little bit, it can really move this big ship quite crazily. And off it goes. Flight capabilities restored. Yay! Nice. All right, your flight engines are restored. Good luck in your search, Fox. Not so fast. I've been thinking about what Mason said back there. We should work together. Something tells me we're gonna need more manpower, and same goes for you guys. So what do you say? Uh, yeah. I think it's a great idea. Let's talk it over at the Equinox. Actually, once you're here, I'd like to get a closer look at your ship myself. Awesome, so I guess we can do that at some point. We can hold R to fly. Let me scan you real fast if you'll let me. Because if I have the op opportunity to, I definitely want to take it. Okay, hold on. Yeah, keep going, buddy, keep going, keep going. Get back here, though. Don't go too far. DNA profile complete. Yeah, okay, got 25 more experience for that one. All right, so let's start flying. Into space we go! Oh, this is so cool. So I guess at this any point in time, we can leave this island. An island, planet, Ubisoft Toronto presents Starlink. Battle for Atlas. Didn't even get through the opening segment in the first episode. That's how grand this game is. I like it. Wow, so you can see different planets just floating around. I think that we will go back to that previous planet soon enough and explore it a bit more. But for right now, if I could fly over to this thing and check that out a bit, get a good understanding, that would be awesome as well. Now, I think this is where Star Fox story specifically starts taking place, which is what I really wanna explore and really get a hold of. And then after that, once we enjoy the Star Fox story, I think that then I'll probably focus on the main story a little bit more. I think that would be cool personally, and then we can you know more thoroughly explore each planet and Starlink stuff. Starlink database updated. Okay, so here we are at Starlink. Took us a second, but we're here. What's going on now? I have waited so long for this. I foresaw this moment many years ago. The Wardens showed me, and now the gift appears. The time has come to harvest Nova. Nova. When the Warden Gods departed so long ago, they took with them the secrets to Nova. You must feed my legion. Look, if you want Nova, it's no trouble. But first, I'm gonna need to get back to my crew. Your crew? Is lost. Oh no. Well, that's not true. <laughs> you will show me how to make Nova. And you will kneel before your warden. He is not in a good situation. We gotta get him out of there. Thanks, Judge. <clears throat> Ew, what is all that stuff? Oh, here's the crew. All right, everything looks good. Wow, this Starlink tech is amazing. This'll give us the edge we need to take down Wolf. Least we could do. Good luck. Let's rock and roll, boys. Catch you later. I got contacts. They might know who took St. Grant. Let's talk to them first. This is the only intel I trust. The Legion's got a hierarchy, and orders gotta come from somewhere. Let's crack a few more open and see where that gets us. That's not very diplomatic, but it could work. What are we waiting for? Let's get out there. Oh. Leave 
Levi. Come on. Whoa. What is he fooling around for? All right, well, that was very interesting. So we're back at Star Fox, and I guess this is where Star Fox story starts, on, I have to imagine. I need to show you something. Oh. Open your ship's computer. Gotcha. Okay, so here's our computer. Now what? Uh, pilot skills. Okay, here we go. Each time uh, you master a weapon or ship, you can come here to gain new abilities and advantages in combat. Gotcha. So this is our like level up tree. So uh, I guess we have these choices to begin with. We have ride in the line. Fox grits his teeth and stays in the fight, dealing more damage while his health is critical. Flying ace. Fox's innate flying skill inherited from his father increases ship energy by 10 per level. And then Fox, or this one's come and swinging. Fox charges up his, his Friends with his passion, improving Windmate's initial barrage damage. I don't know what Wingmates is, interesting. Uh, mix and match. Fox's improvis improvisational combat style helps him, him gain ability charges when performing elemental combos. Ooh. And then finally, stay in formation. Always the team player, Fox is inspired by his crew, dealing extra damage when nearby allies. Do they just show up on their own at this point? Cause I don't know. We'll try the come and swinging, cause it seems like the I mean, I don't know, maybe we'll do Flying Ace. Skill learned, cool. Don't think I can unlearn it now. Uh, more skill points required, yeah, okay, so I can't unlearn it, but I'm guessing there's no maximum to how much we could level these guys up until they're totally, we got all the skills, you know, attributed. Okay, very cool. So one thing I did wanna check out is it looks like, as far as I can tell, we can mod the ship with stuff too. I don't have any mods available for some things, but for this one, like I have Cold Armor 1, which will give plus 20 defense, plus 25% cold, damage resist, minus 20% heat damage resist, um, more durable while frosted or frozen. And then same thing with like this stuff over here, we got some other ship boosters. We have the uh, Survival Booster 1 common, plus 10% durability when the ship is critically damaged, and also test plus 10% experience earned with this ship. I think that sounds pretty big. I think that I can change these at any time anyways, so that sounds pretty good to me. Might as well equip them if we can put them on at any time. No room for enhancements. Okay, gotcha. Thanks, that's good to know. So like I was saying, the imps on Karit and the drakes that attack Shade are all Legion. So the Legion have to be connected to St. Grand's capture. An interesting theory, but our research points to the fact that the Legion are not intelligent. Which means someone's controlling them. We just need to find out who. Mm. Wow. You guys sound just like a prospector I know. That Haven old timer was always on about the Legion hierarchy. Great, let's go talk to him. Okay, so wait, I wait, think- Wait, 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 I meant you guys are nuts. Are all humans this dense? Look, I saw the ones who took St. Grand. They weren't robots. If this guy's got a theory about that, we should hear it. Fine. If you guys want to talk to Eli, Go ahead, but I'm warning you, he's a little on the cranky side. You sure that's not just when he's talking to you? Oh, so you do have a sense of humor. Good to know. Hmm. Oh, one last thing. Your hyperdrive is back up. Just nice. don't run into any asteroids. We only got so many spare parts around here. Nice. Thanks, Razor. Okay, so let's move forward then and see what ends up happening with the hyperdrive. Oh boy, wait, did that work? There it goes, whoa boy, we're moving. I think, yeah, this is pretty cool. We still have a while to go though. Like 187, well, okay, these don't match up. That says 233,000. So maybe we're getting closer there than I thought. This is pretty cool though, I like it. So what if I stopped it now? I still have a lot to go though. Wait, oh yeah, this is the planet we were just on. This looks a little bit different. What about that planet over there? Unknown planet, very cool. So I don't know how many planets there are in total to explore. I guess we could find out right here. Um, there's looking at like quite a few. It doesn't look like it's infinite, that's for sure. But still, quite a few to explore, which is super exciting. And we're just gonna hyperdrive over that way and hope that everything works out pretty well. I mean, it seems like it will. Does still take a while, oddly enough. Warning. Um, incoming outlaw hyperspace trap. What, what, we ow. A live one in the net. What does that mean? Ow, okay, stop it, you guys are so rude. We got an outlaw going on. These guys are level Starlink three, though, I'm a bit outnumbered, updated. too. Okay, Starlink database updated. I might wanna check out that database super fast. So if I take a look at our collection and then hangar tactical data for these guys. What are these guys? Well, weapon effects, this is the wrong thing then. Legion Codex Alien Factions. It would be in here, right? Outlaw. Doesn't really say what they're weak to. 
Gotcha. Okay. Well, we'll just have to deal with it then, and hopefully we don't Only get destroyed, because if we do, attack. that would stink. Uh, so I'm trying to get used to this a little bit more. I definitely have a lot to learn with this game. Oops. Mm. Ooh. Did I get you? Okay, somebody's beating us up, though. Who? Who? Stop it. Mm. That was good. That was like a nice little snipe. No bailing out. No bailing out. Get back here. We're gonna put you in that thermal shock. We got you. Nice. Okay, so not quite done, though. Still heading towards Haven. Those guys trapped us that time, but we are back on health now. Sorry. Ain't gonna happen. Okay, so that's okay. L is our pilot ability. We got an asteroid belt here. We gotta be sort of careful of. And another trap. Morning. Incoming outlaw hyperspace trap. Okay, did they get me? They got me. So this is tough. These guys are level five. I don't know if I'm ready to do this. Close one. Yeah, you're mine. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Like that's sort of something I really don't know. Like I don't know if we're following the main quest, or if we're following the Star Fox quest, if, or if they're still intertwined at this rate. I don't know if there's a way we can check. I know I keep on pulling this up over and over again, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, let's see. There's a collection, there's options, loadout. Star map, make it center on my player, but an easy trade sector over here. What is this? Is this like the center of the universe here? Or the galaxy? It doesn't look like there's actually a quest list, or maybe it's in the database? Not really, like, that's sort of the weird thing, is there doesn't seem to be like an active quest list I can find anywhere. Ninja. I might just be silly and not doing this very well, and there's just a lot going over my head. Totally possible, I'm not very, once again, I'm not gonna be very good at this game for a while, if ever, good at it. But I might, I might be able to eventually figure out what the heck I'm doing. Okay, but I'm taking some damage, not too much. Actually, no, I don't have any damage right now. Okay, get this guy a little bit. I didn't wanna do that, wanted to sort of spin around. But it is cool that you can still play this with the pro control, you don't have to worry about anything beyond that. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's definitely gonna mess. Finish this guy off, and that seems this to be all of them. Of time. Let's bail. Okay, that so back in the hyperdrive. Like got it out for you. Yeah, you can say that again. We're getting a whole lot closer now. What is, what is over this? Play. Hyperdrive disrupted. Huh? Legion Drakes, did that say? Oh my, more enemies? More enemies, gotcha. That's what it means, that's what it always means, is more enemies are gonna attack. Jeez Louise. What, did we scare it away? On someone's tail. Sage, let's talk to that pilot. Channel open. What's up? Looks like you're in trouble. Beat it before I beat you. You got a funny way of saying thanks, pal. Uh, what do you know, Snoot Brain? Maybe I'm luring Legion into my trap. But so long as you're here, I'll let you take a few pot shots at him. Yeah, you will. Oh gosh, I'm actually getting my butt kicked right now. This is not going well. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop, Come don't on. stop. Come on, Fox, you can do this. I don't know what to do about this. There's way too many of them. Yes. Fox one, bad guy zero. Oh, well, they're about to get one too, and it's you, so be careful. Oh gosh, you know what? I might just have to hyperdrive away, get some space or something. I don't know if I can heal or anything. Uh. They're still right on my tail. Okay, I got some health back, I think. That's good, because I really needed that. Keep going for this guy. Yeah, this, this like flamethrower is tough to land. It's not like an auto find kind of thing. There we go, got it. And then get this dude, another Legion Drake. These guys are tough. And I don't know if they have a specific weakness. We should probably try to find out by trying different weapons and stuff, but there we go. Uh, <laughs> Nothing like a good battle to get the blood pumping. You're all right, pal, even though you got a puny ship. Our ships Thanks. are the same size. Math isn't your thing, is it? Ha, feisty too. I like it. Maybe we'll meet again. Okay, so what did we get for that space that debris? But trouble. You're lucky. Most outlaws only got one code. Shoot first, talk never. Man, this place is a freaking danger zone. It's Atlas, kid. Our space has all kinds of loot caches and shipwrecks. And if it's worth picking over, it's worth fighting over. Why else do you think those drakes were after me? Indeed. We expeditions stay within our planetary gravity wells for a reason. Even the prospectors rarely see space these days. See? Even the eggheads got street smarts. It's the way we live. Or else we don't. I don't know what to do about all this. I might not be able to touch it for now. Just attacking it doesn't seem to do anything. So you know what? We wasted too much time. Let's still keep heading towards Haven because this seems to be where our main quest lies. So get this going on. This is a very interesting planet. Is there red oceans? 
that's a bit creepy, but let's head on in, about 100 meters away until we hit the planet's atmosphere. Getting closer and closer, but it's also taking longer to get there, come on. We can do it. There it is, we broke through, nice. Oh gosh, it's a little scary. Don't damage our ship on our way in. There we go, Haven. So it wasn't red oceans, it's just red forests. This place is interesting. All right, so go to Haven, knock, knock. All right, guys, I made it to Haven. Where am I headed? Just keep your eye out for an old refinery. Should be near a Ow. river. Okay, so we're looking for an old refinery. Should Cop be near a river. Well, there's a lot of rivers nearby. Do I just want to follow one? So okay, shade. go this way. Have you known this guy long? No offense, but you don't seem like someone who makes friends with, well, anyone. Hey. I never said we were friends. We met back when he was still taking jobs. He used to be one of the baddest bounty hunters around. He used to be? Eli's like 300 years old. Saw too much of the world and stopped making sense of it, I guess. Always ranting about the world being secretly run by Krakna or whatever. One day he just packed it in and set up his own digs. Sounds like me. When I started developing Starlink, I tried to get funding. Everyone thought I was crazy. Well, jury's still out on that. <laughs> All right, well, they're bickering. While they are, let's go ahead and scan some more of this flamingo monster. I love him, he looks wonderful. We're about 50% done with him. I think that with this one will be at like, like 66, so we'll probably just have to scan another one after that. Partial yep. scan complete. Scan okay. more specimens to complete the DNA profile. So let's go ahead and get this one too. We got some experience for that though. I love being able to level up our characters, so just trying to get that done some DNA more. There we go. Complete. Identified. So that's yet another creature. Don't know which one, but we got a six percent for that one. So that's nice. So I think that maybe it would be a smarter idea just to focus on the main quest. Maybe some side quests along the way, and then we can go wow, back through and. It's gorgeous. It's called a Sunstrider. They're apparently not very friendly, though. They're pretty friendly to me. Okay, I'll keep it in mind though. But uh, yeah, then we'll maybe go through uh, more planets and try to fully complete them. Might be a better idea than just staying on one planet for like ten hours. Um. Because it seems like we didn't even scratch the surface on what to do on the other planet, whatever it was called, I already forget. But uh, yeah, for right now, we'll just zoom off to this area. If we do find some extra stuff along the way, that would be awesome. Oh, hey, look at this giant beetle thing. This is cool. Let's scan him. All right, beetle dude, stay where you are. Partial Perfect. scan complete. Scan more specimens to complete the DNA profile. Okay, well, we're gonna get this one as well, Mr. Beetle. Man, the, the game is so pretty. Hold on, it didn't work. There you go. Like, this is a really, Partial really pretty scan game. Complete. Scan more specimens to complete the DNA profile. For the scale that the game is, for sure, too. Like, the size of everything, it's like these giant planets to explore, and it all looks amazing. I'm really impressed with that. Gonna go ahead and get some of this stuff. Just more materials one way or another, right? So, that's good. Uh, yeah, some Electrum Nugget. We're pretty familiar with this stuff. Good to get some more. I can't wait to check out Star Fox's ability, whatever that'll be. Got it, okay. So let us zoom off this way and uh, see what we end up running into. But it is very interesting because I know that the Star Fox characters are only in the Nintendo Switch version, as far as I understand. I don't see how they could be in the other versions. Oh, we can scan you again. I think you're trying to attack me now. I'd rather you not, but I'm just gonna go DNA ahead and do that real fast. Complete. Fauna identified. Yeah, okay, so um, oh here we go, here's one last beetle, so we can know their name. But I wonder what the how the cutscenes are any different, because that's very odd to me. DNA profile complete. Fauna identified. Okay, so that was a scutter or skitter tusk. Cool, I Looks like, like it. Looks like a refinery to me. All right, well, let's see who we can talk to. Maybe I can talk uh, to you. It's called a skitter tusk. Look how cute and shiny it is. Apparently, they let out a sweet smell from their antennas. Just on my way to collect some old wreckage. It's the only way we keep these junkers in work in order. If you find some, bring it by the refinery. Gotcha. Okay, well here's the refinery. Let's talk. Hold it right there. You're on private property. Move along before you make another mistake. Easy now. I just want to talk. Shade sent me. Shade? That meter never listened to a word I said. Doesn't surprise me. Look, I just got a couple of questions and I'll be out of your hair. Uh huh? Here's the deal. I ain't in the business of being made a fool. You want me to play along? 
You're gonna have to make it worth my while. All right, well, we can try to do that all for help. My refinery's been combing the area for minerals, but there's a couple of types we're still missing. You scare up a rare one for me. Maybe we talk. All right, panning for answers. Find and retrieve this rare mineral for this prospector. Perhaps if you can collect the ore he can't find, he'll per be persuaded to help you. Or help you. I don't know why I can't read sentences, did I? We have 500 experience for 10,000 of the thingamajigs and some common armor. Nice. So this is actually yet another playable character that we have unlocked because we bought that thing at the beginning of today's episode. So let's accept. And can we talk to you again for even more stuff? Okay, not really at the moment. Uh, so let's go ahead and help him out as much as we can. Yeah, that's a refinery, Dude, that's which I think we can awesome. do some stuff with. Another alien, bro, for the win. Just remember why we're here. Friends are good. Information is better. That is true. Okay, so uh, whoa, ow, oh, dang it, sorry, <laughs> that hurt a little bit. All right, you're looking for a shiny rock about half the size of your ship. Chip off a chunk and bring it on back. Shiny rock about half the size of our ship in this area. Well, there is a little white dot over this way. What could that be? Uh, inventory full M1 engine. I don't know what I do with that kind of stuff. Gotta find out soon. Uh, for right now, got some of this stuff. And this is not a rock, that's a plant. Where around here could be a rock? I actually, oh, oh is this a rock or a plant? Ah, it's a rock. There we go, common mineral vein. Beat this thing up a little bit, and excellent. So our inventory is currently full. How do we mix with our inventory then? I don't know, load out. Because I need to be able to make room or I won't be able to do this quest, so there has to be a way. I just don't know what that is. Here's our star map, our equinox, which core systems, modding bay, freight and cargo. Can I upgrade this stuff? Oh, I can use my points to upgrade some of this stuff, gotcha. Um, amp up your pool force to make it easier to pluck objects. I don't really need that. Increase starships carrying capacity from five to 20 organic metallic or wooden items. Can't get this one either right now, because I need to get this one, which I can't get because I don't have that orby thing. All right, well that's great and everything. But you know what I really need? is a way to access my inventory. Maybe in here, Atlas Discoveries, Alan Factions, like this is all data, information. Weird, you would think there'd be a way, but I don't see a way at all. Like, this is for modding my ship. It would have to be in the Equinox, but not really. I am so confused. There has to be like an extra menu I'm just not aware of. Like, I know my inventory is full, but then what do I do about it? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have picked up so much stuff. I thought I was doing good by collecting things. Stasis canister. I think I can shoot this and it'll explode. Yes. So I'm supposed to, you know, bring that over. He's not gonna be happy when he finds out I don't have it. So let's see what ends up happening now. Maybe it'll still work out some way. Probably not. But um, we're gonna find out together. Hopefully I can turn back and go the right way and refine that ore vein, because if not, I might be in a bit of trouble. Uh, hold the talk. Yeah, I still can't do anything. Weird, there has to be a way to get rid of stuff then. I might have to go back to the other planet and see if I can't sell stuff there. That's a weird way to mess things up. Gotta be honest. So this is bizarre. Apparently I need to find somebody who will actually be willing to do business with me so that hopefully I can actually find some way to sell the stuff I currently have, because there's no way to go into the inventory, because really, is no inventory to drop it? So that's a little bit weird. Okay, this is an imp hive, which actually isn't what I want. I guess I can beat these guys up a little bit. Uh, Where are some of them? And I guess they haven't popped up just yet. Let's go ahead and try to pester them a little bit. Maybe this is where we could try some of our new weapons. Um, Loadout, and then for our right wing here, like this is where we can change like things that'll give us different energy and speed. I think the R wing is fine how it is, um, but I wanted to try more flame related stuff. So we could do like the, whatever this is. This is the Meteor Mark II or the flamethrower we have on the other uh, side. Then there's a volcano. Like I feel like that'd be some good combos right there if the imps are not good with fire stuff. And it seems so far that's a good idea. Okay, just try to back up a little bit if I can. There we go. It's still the flamethrower that does the most damage. Good to know this other stuff is pretty effective as well. Oh, got him good there. I think I actually got a two for one. Very nice. 
Okay, wait, there's, was there one behind me? No, there was, that was a plant, okay, gotcha. But I'll try just doing some other stuff other time, I guess, for now, like, what more can I really do? You know, oh, am I doing this right? This is stuff breaking, yeah, it is taking damage. This takes a while. Some of it does bounce off a little bit, but that does land criticals. Okay, we got an imp on top of us, shake him off. Where is he now? I don't know, maybe shaking him off did, did him in. I doubt it, but it's possible. Okay, just keep damaging this thing. There we go. Again, those critical damages on it. This is turning out pretty well, actually. I like it. Okay, ooh, nice. And what is that? I got some experience. The blue orbs must be experienced. We got some regen boosters and the quick shot amplifier new mod collected. Very cool. And I'm just gonna head and keep on going towards these like unknown spaces on the map that you can see. And hopefully we can find something like, this sort of looks like it could be a shop. Oh no, this is definitely something uh, abandoned. This, like I can break this, but my inventory is still full. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a thingamajig anytime soon. Whoa, whoa, okay. So I got myself in a bad situation. Starlink database updated. Shield or Cyclops? All right, can I, do I have to scan these guys? Let me take a look at the database then. Um, collection, hangar, Legion Codex. So this guy is, well these are the imps. I'm looking for the shielded Cyclops. It doesn't say their weakness. Well, I mean, I guess. Uh, designed as frontline crowd suppression units, a shielded Cyclops can deflect any incoming barrage with its shield. Nobody knows what mineral these barriers are made of that allows them to shrug off attacks the way they do. Uh, block incoming damage from the front, try attacking from behind, aim past the target with guided missiles, use explosive weapons to get around the shield. So let's see if we don't have any explosive stuff. I think that we do to take on guys like these. That's what's really cool about this. Um, so like this stuff, Vortex missile volleys, like let's try that, and then on this side, we'll try our other things, because it said that if I were to maybe just do this, it'll just do some auto-seek missiles that'll make it much easier to hit them, because the missiles will sort of do the work. Try not to aim directly onto them, that might turn out even better. See, this actually seems to be working out quite nicely. I like it, I mean, it might not be the most perfect thing. I don't know what those explosion -y things are, or if those are mine, well yeah, I guess those are the vortexes it was talking about, cool. Okay, we got an enemy over this way. Gotta pay attention to that mini map as much as possible. It's go time, boys. Oh. Oh. Oh, hey, that worked. Oh, Peppy's coming in. I, I didn't even need to press it, but then I realized I did. And Peppy's here to help me. Where's Peppy at? I need to see him. Peppy, you're the best. Awesome. I so hope that they really are added as playable characters. I'm gonna be so disappointed if they're not. Okay, so we just gotta keep moving. Gotta be careful. But it looks like every character then has their own ability. I like how it plays some Star Fox music as well. Like, man, all that kind of stuff is so cool. Wait, what was that? Did I save that guy or did I attack him? I don't know. Um, I might have attacked him by accident. I'm so sorry, buddy. Okay, that's it. You made me mad. No, I'm sorry. I was trying to attack all these slide cl slide Cyclops around you. Is, is it really my fault? Ooh, I need to catch my breath. All right, see you, Peppy. Thank you for the help. All right, are you just going to be attacking me then? Repair? Oh, maybe I can just repair you. Much appreciated, pal. Thought I was a goner for sure. <laughs> what an interesting chain of events. But there's a chest. What does this have? Ooh, gravity canister. No, not that. I got something there. Maybe it was just more experience. Ow, why did I do that? Is there more enemies over this way? No, I think it was just more normal worker guys. Okay, um. So I'm having fun exploring, but once again, it's not really what I was, I'm was i supposed to be doing at the moment. I'm gonna keep at it for now. Get some free stuff there, 250 of the things. That's good. Because while I can, you know, bust some of this stuff, uh, the problem is that uh, I really can't put it to use just yet. So there is one thing explored. Apparently, there, wait, there is another chest around there though. Should I try to find that? I think it's probably at the top. All right, well, we know this is here. We can eventually research it, I think, again. It looks like it. I don't know. Um, don't know if that kind of stuff matters so much. Oh, hey, here we go, here's another refinery. I definitely haven't headed into one big circle, so I should definitely be able to talk to this one. Oh, uh, I cannot, because I still need to offer help So to the other guy. So I guess I can't work with any refineries until I do that. That's fine, as long as I can find somewhere else. I know in the other planet there was other types of things that weren't just refineries. I could talk to those and maybe figure some things out. And like sell stuff. I really don't have to go all the way back to that planet though. That would be sort of the worst right now. But it may be what I have to do. 
Apparently there's another treasure chest somewhere around here. There's some more stuff this way. We're gonna continue exploring for now. And if I have to, then I guess I'll go back to the other planet so I can do some stuff. Can I see the info on this planet right here? Not from the ground. I don't think there's any quick travel available, so I will actually have to fly back there, which hopefully wouldn't be too bad, but you never know. I mean, maybe these little deposits over here, I don't think so though. Usually those ones are just like little quests or things I can take down for more currency, whatever it's called. Um, yeah, we're gonna fly off to this one. Looks like there's a bit of a forest over this way. I mean, I'm having a lot of fun exploring the planet, and as you can see, I'm only like scratching the surface of what we can do here. Can I break this stuff? Inventory full. No, that's more plants. Okay, gotcha. This is Raba's Peak. Oh, what is this then? Is this just an enemy thing? Starlink database the Seed updated. of Life. New discovery. All right, I think I'm gonna leave this stuff be. Ow. Oof. Oof, that hurt. I'm out of here, see ya. You guys are jerks. Didn't even wanna see you. What in the world is this? Um, whoa, going too fast. There's like a set of walls and spikes for some reason. This is weird. Hmm. Okay, more enemies this way. I think some of them are beating up on a, like a defenseless guy, which is not good. Let's go ahead and try doing some of this. We got the frost vortex going on right now. I love the combination with vortex weapons. They have some interesting ideas with it. Because I know that the ice stuff is good against normal Cyclops. I can only imagine that'll be the same thing with shielded Cyclops. And we got him. Oh no, they were protecting a chest or Ship something level here. Increased. Ship level increased, nice. Um, skill points gained with that, okay. So our inventory is full, but our ship level is increased. So what does that really mean for us? Uh, defense booster one, new mod collected, gotcha. Is there mod ship and weapons? Where do I upgrade Fox? Pilot skills, here. So I do have one available. We could do something like the riding the line. I mean, I have gone pretty low on health a couple of times, so maybe that'll be worth our while. Go ahead and try that out. And then I gotta keep moving, because apparently, games doesn't like me very much. Okay, this is a marshland shielded Cyclops. Only level one, so pretty easy to figure out. What is this plant doing? That plant was moving around all crazy. That was sort of creepy. Uh, and there's more of these guys, more of these shielded Cyclops, which I can take out relatively easily. Okay, more Frost Vortexes. Got it, okay. Is that all the enemies in this area? What is with all these white dots around? More things to collect that I can't quite collect because my inventory is full. It is so difficult to deal with. What is the screw over this way? Cherik Regulator, a relic hiding at the ways of mysterious wardens to be so huge it must have served an important purpose. What is it hiding? So a warden mod I can get there. More ruins, this is like a level three to five area that I probably don't wanna mess with. This is getting really frustrating. I think that at this point, I've been exploring, I cannot find something where I can sell my stuff, so I'm literally stuck at the moment. Uh, so I have to go back and go to the other planet and sell stuff and then come back this way. This seems to be a bit of a design flaw, gotta be honest. Oh no, I gotta fly, there we go. So we're just gonna keep going up and I guess return. It's sort of my best bet at the moment. Like I don't understand what more I could do if I can't help him with this. You think I'd be able to at least pick it up and just drag it around and not put it in my inventory, but I can't do that. Oh, I can also, prospector mission. Main campaign, prospector mission. Panning for answers. What, what is a prospector mission? Is this, where is that on the map? I guess this. And then if I were to change back to the main campaign, it is that now, gotcha. Okay, so they're sort of one and the same right now, obviously because I need to help this prospector for the main campaign, but that's how I change my quests is with the left and right buttons. Gotcha, okay. So, now that I'm back out here, what planet, I need to go to Kyra, yep. Wait. Oh, I can fast travel. Oh, that would be perfect, so you can do that, that's amazing. Never mind, all my complaints are gone. I thought I was gonna have to spend another five minutes flying on over. So we can just hyperdrive right into this planet, maybe. I don't know if that'll actually work or not, but I wanna try our best to find out. I would hope so. I mean, it looks like we're doing just fine with that, heading into the planet's atmosphere and everything. We don't wanna go too fast in hyperdrive. We might just ram right into the floor. That would be bad. Okay, there we go. And it looks like it might be nighttime here for Kai, right? Okay, so what we're looking for right now is to go to the Shale Town Observatory. So I'm gonna set my destination just like that. 
and we should be good to go. Looks like I'm slowly floating downwards. Can I land on this stuff? Like, yeah, is there cool things to find on top of these? Not really at the moment. I mean, I am still technically flying, so that's really cool. I can just fly around normally on the planet as well. That's probably how I find some treasure chests that might be higher up. But yeah, I'm not gonna be doing too much questing in this, uh, this not island, I don't know why I wanna call them islands, but this planet specifically for right now. All I wanna do is sort of worry about getting the main quest done, and then we can really thoroughly dig through each planet. I think that, I feel like that'll be a lot of fun. Unless there's like extra stuff I really need to do to like get leveled up to actually continue with the main quest. That might be something that we end up running into. But for right now, as far as I can tell, we have all the weapons to the game, we have all the characters and ships, so we should be able to get through everything nice and fine. I'm just trying to fly this way so that we can get this done. And we'll move on from there. Okay, keep going, I'm out of energy for right now. And boom, got it. Only 16 meters away now, so we've almost gotten there. Let's, let's fly between this, ah, oh, that's so cool, when you can just fly in between things. And obviously they designed it just like that because it's a flying game. Okay, so we're finally at the observatory and people are attacking it. No, 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 no. Mr. Outlaws, leave these people alone. They're nice people. Hey, what gives? Oh, okay, hold on. You can complain in a moment. I'm gonna be changing my weapon loadout if I can. I mean, I don't know what's good, but I do wanna try the shockwave and I wanna try maybe like the gauze gun mark two or even like the levitator. That sounds like it could be interesting. Uh. So the levitator obviously yeah, is gonna make them sort of float for a moment. Down. And then this is like a sound wave go. thing which doesn't seem to do too much damage, to be honest with you. I might have to equip some more stuff. One more, one more. We're just knocking him farther away. Uh, okay, there's one more guy, and he's right here. Awesome, and get him, and got him. Very good. There you go, I helped you out. I hope you appreciate that. I sniffed out an outlaw hideout. I sent it to your map. Oh, sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. And I should be able to deliver item, deliver five of these. And as you can see, this increases the observatory. But more importantly, I should have five things in my inventory now to um, no pick thanks. these up. I don't remember placing a request for that. Okay. So I could actually pick up Skylobite. I'm not going to though, because I need that inventory space. So we are going to leave now, go back up into Haven, and get that done. And that'll be much better for us. Uh, sorry for the detour, but it sort of had to happen. So I need to find Haven and just quick travel to it. That should be just fine. I'm so glad there's quick traveling. I would have been a little pained if it wasn't for that. All right, off we go. Very awesome. I am having so much fun. Okay, so um, let's see what's going on now with uh, Haven. I should be able to pick up some ores, which is good. And we're just gonna focus on the prospector mission, so once we get back on in, looks like I gotta go 100 meters this way. The very bottom of the planet, at least for now, until it rotates in a specific way that it's not anymore. I mean, I guess really, when you're in space, it's all about perspective. It's not really, there is no really bottom or top, is there? Okay, well, let's head on in. And we'll probably just get this prospector mission done real quick and we'll wrap it up for today's episode and then you know, we'll continue on with Haven and the main quest in the next episode. That'll be good. But uh, for right now, we gotta go a couple meters this way. It is interesting about the uh, the doctor, the main guy, the captain, not the doctor. Uh, it looks like he's being led astray. He thinks all of his crew has been taken down, but that's actually not the case. So hopefully we can get to him soon to let him know that. Okay, so I do see one of the ore veins right here. I wonder if I can just pulse it like this. That does work, and I can pick up the rare mineral. Hey, what are you guys gotcha. doing? Hold on, hold on. Loadout. I should have like different loadouts. I do. Here we go. Okay, help me out. Uh, first, shake you off if I can, and then yeah, I'm just supposed to like the crazy thing is I'm not even supposed to like do much with this. I'm just supposed to hold it and bring it back. I'm not even supposed to. I mean, actually, I might be able to. No, see, I'm just supposed to do this. Why couldn't I do this? Before, even because I had a full inventory, I couldn't just pick something up? That's sort of lame, you know? I don't get that too much. But hey, with all this, you know, derailed stuff, we finally figured it out. Our plan wasn't perfect, but that's okay. We're just gonna zoom back this way and get it done. And we do have a team up available if we need it. Uh, let's hold the talk, I got your stuff. Uh, deliver item, rare mineral, 500 experience for me, and a common armor. 
Yeah, delivery complete plus uh, 10,000 of that stuff too, nice. That experience is going to our ship, of course, very cool. And Prospector Armor 1, new mod collected. I need to equip more of those mods. That'll do. Tell you what, this refinery churns out Electrum by the bucket. Since you did me a favor, I'll throw some of that Electrum your way from time to time. All right, let's talk. You want to know about the underground, the gears running beneath our boots, our feathered foes behind the masks? Something like that. I'm helping some friends locate their captain. He was captured. Whoever's controlling the Legion, we think they did it. Doubt it. Grax doesn't like to show his face. So that's his name, huh? Was he the punk who sent those drakes? Drakes are his eyes and ears. He wouldn't have come himself unless they spotted something real pretty. Seems you piqued his interest. Why don't you help us both out and see for yourself? All right, well. Let's see, offer to help. The Legion um, Drake crashed here not too long ago. You hacked that core of his, and that'll give you an idea about how the Legion and Grax talk. Just let me know what you find. Okay, so this is level four, or maybe this is mission four. I think it's it's recommended for level four, but maybe I'm wrong. If you know where to look, hack into this crashed Drake while fighting off Legion reinforcements. The prospector claims there's valuable information hidden in the data core of units like this. Now I can't go back, I have to accept it, I guess. Okay, cool. There we go. Grax, new discovery, two out of seven. Uh, but there's also, like, I can deliver an item if I wanted to, like the radium cells, I can sell some of this stuff, and the drill bits. Updated. Okay, we upgraded our database, that's nice. Glad to get some of that stuff out of here. No ships to repair for right now, so if I guess we had damaged ships, if we lose all of our health, I guess it's damaged for a while with the switch to another ship or something. Okay, so. Don't know what's heading off that way, but I think it's something we'll figure out for next episode. Looks like we're moving on with the next quest. I think it has something to do with that ship. The Crash Drake, maybe, I don't know, we'll find out. But yeah, I've been having so much fun with this, and now that we've got our inventory sorted and sort of figured that out a little bit better, I think we'll be good to go for the upcoming episodes. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Starlink Battle for Atlas. If you watched this the video, make sure you comment Hyperdrive Zebra so that you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Task Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.